Hey, what's up guys? Phil here, and this is a review for the DZ09 smartwatch from XC Source. The watch comes with a 39-inch micro USB cable and a set of instructions. The band is a simple black texturized rubber that will fit wrist sizes from 6 to 8 inches comfortably. The watch face is 2.5 inches by 1.5 inches and half an inch thick. It weighs about 2 ounces. The port for charging is on the left hand side under a rubber seal, along with the speaker. The microphone and camera are above the screen. The power button is located below the screen. What's interesting about this smartwatch is that you don't have to have a smartphone to use it. It's actually a self-contained phone, and you can make calls from it if you load a SIM card in the back. To open the back, use the corner to pull the door open. Be very careful as the back is made of a thin plastic and cracks easily, especially where the speaker port is. After you remove the battery, you'll see the slot for the micro SD card and SIM card. Note that when you remove the battery, you will have to reset the clock when you turn the unit back on. Press and hold the power button to turn the watch on. You'll get a short splash screen and then a home screen with the time and default icons for phone dialer and contacts. Along the bottom, there's the menu and tools buttons. To pair this watch with a smartphone instead of using a SIM card, switch the Bluetooth on your smartphone on and you'll be able to connect to a device called M9. Once connected, you'll have access to features like your phone's dialer, text messages, contacts, and push notifications. Swiping anywhere on the watch screen will bring up the menu of apps. There are some interesting apps bundled with this watch, including an anti-lost feature that prompts the watch to ring and vibrate if you put it down and walk away too far. You've got your typical alarms, calculator, camera, sound recorder, a web browser if you've got a SIM card, and media players. There are health-related apps also, like a pedometer, sleep monitor that detects if you're moving in your sleep, and a sedentary reminder to help you remember to take breaks during the day. There are even a few chat apps installed like QQ and Weishin. In order to take full advantage of the watch's features when paired with your phone, like reading text messages, using the watch as a trigger for your phone's camera, and push notifications, you'll have to install the Bluetooth Notification BT app on your phone. I tried the one in the instruction manual, but it required registration, and I didn't like that it wasn't hosted on Google Play, so I downloaded a different one in the Play Store, which worked for me. The app is only available for Android devices, so iOS users will not be able to access the features that require this app. Without the app, you can still use the native smartphone features of the watch if it has its own SIM card, but you can't access messages and call data from your paired iPhone. The screen is very clear, and the interface looks and functions very nicely, however, it can sometimes be a bit slow. There were a few features that I couldn't figure out, like the FM radio, since it kept asking me to plug in headphones, but there's no headphone port on the watch. The camera is also a little tricky to control, since it's on an angle. Basically, you hold the watch level and parallel to the ground, and you'll be able to take a picture of what's directly in front of your wrist. The watch only has half a megabyte of storage though, so you'll want to install a memory card if you're going to be taking photos and videos with the watch. It's unclear what other apps can be loaded to the watch, and there aren't any instructions on how to do this. It's also unclear as to how waterproof the watch is, but as a precaution, I take it off when showering or going swimming. For a low-priced smartwatch, this does all the basic features that I would expect, and a few more. The interface is easy to understand, and though typing on it can be a bit challenging because the keyboard is so small, it's still nice to have this feature to make searches easier. I hope you enjoyed this review. You can ask me any questions in the comments. I'll put a link to the product in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and join me next time.